Hey everybody, welcome to Color It Live. It's Wednesday. This is where we talk about all things Color It and where we show off how you, the fans, free your creativity each and every day. I'm Nyla and this is my host for the night, my husband, Jeremy. So everybody Hello. say hi to Jeremy. He was kind enough to help me out tonight. Thought we, he doesn't get many times where he's, he's usually in bed by now because he goes to work really early. So um, he's usually in bed, so that's why Jeremiah helps me. So we thought this would be a good time for everyone to meet him and so he can meet all of you guys. He's always seen me talk to you, so now he's going to know you himself. So we've got so much fun to talk about guys but first let me do my shout outs let's see who's all here i'm so glad you guys made it i honestly thought since it was thanksgiving tomorrow that everyone would be too busy for me but you guys are here so yay all right so we have sharon rich and pam they were like the first to sign on so like yay all right we got diana and nikki stacy adam hale is here tonight mr schnark we got Rhonda, Ellen Tillis, and Adam is uh, saying howdy from Boise. Mary Pickett Lannon's here, Alicia Clay. Roberta's from Michigan's watching, Barbara Barnes is here. Hi Kelly from Australia, Kristen Hale, hello. Diana Sanderson from Kentucky. We have Oregon represented by Cindy Trent's buyer, so hello Cindy. Tammy from Wisconsin, Mary from Michigan, Vicki from New York, Mary Kate Moore is here tonight. She has a joke for us later. I will have my husband read. Alicia Clay from Oklahoma. We got Brenda Green from Baltimore. Diana's already shared, so that's great. Love it. We got Linda Johnston. Hello. Judy Westbrook Mann, happy Thanksgiving to you guys as well. Kathy is here tonight. Dina or Dinah, I'm not for sure how you pronounce it. Ellen, hello. You've been absent for a while. That's okay. You're back. We don't mind that. So glad to have you back, Ellen. Barbara wants to see the new markers. You're going to get to see the new markers. So I've been playing around with them. So I'll give you guys all the the goods on them. Stacy, Oklahoma also. Eddie McKenzie's here. All right, Sharon has shared. So has Roberta. Mary Richmond, our colorist of the month is here. Welcome, Mary. Judy from Alaska. Ooh, I've always wanted to visit Alaska. I've heard it's gorgeous. Would love to see it. All right, Jody Engler, hello. All right, I think I have everybody. I'm going to, oh, Angel's here tonight. Judy has her markers ordered. Tammy, hello. Patty, Kristen, Linda. Audrey's here. She's one of our regulars. Donna from PA, Pennsylvania. All right, so I'm going to let Jeremy take over. If you guys have any questions, any shout outs, Jeremy is going to let me know. Okay. So that's his main job. So, all right. Okay. All right. So, uh, we are giving away and I don't have the book to show, but we are giving away tonight colors of the ocean book. So if you want to win, all you have to do is share. You can share to your groups. You can share it on your timeline. You can share it on your friend's timeline. Send it to them in Messenger. If you want to do a watch party and have everybody watching with you, that would be fun. So um, make sure you do that. Make sure that your profile is set to public because that's the only way that Color It gets the notification like we do with, with the little bell. So every time you share, they get that notification. Um, and make sure that if you've won um, within the past year, then you have to kind of wait, a, you know, a whole year before you can win again. But please still share anyway for me because um, it, uh, what? Um, because it helps me out. So um, make sure you share. I'm so glad you guys are here tonight. But again, Colors of the Ocean is what we are giving away tonight. And sorry, 
I don't have that, just go to colorit.com and you will see the book. Lots of pretty pictures in there. If you like the ocean, it is um, very gorgeous. So you can make lots of beautiful ocean pictures with it. All right, so we've all been waiting for it. So I'm not gonna make you wait for it anymore. I do have announcements about um, Black Friday coming up, Cyber Monday coming up. So a lot of announcements. We do have a few submissions to look at, but um, today we're focusing on announcements and on the new markers. So let's transition here real quick to this page. All right, so uh, here are the new markers. 25% off on um whoops things are falling down from november 27th through 28th so this is basically for all of you colorettes and color studs you guys got to see it first so this promotion is going to basically be for you because it's for today and tomorrow right today is the 27th correct okay so these are the markers and guess what i got me some so let me get back to me. So there's the 25% off. And we'll wait for the screen to update. Facebook is always toying with me, so slow. So let's hopefully it'll get back to me. Um, we know that you guys have been waiting very patiently for the markers, and we are happen, happy to announce that they are finally back. Here they are. Very Yay. exciting. All right, what's new about these markers? Okay, first, the box is new. It has all of the colors on it on the top. And then when you open it up, it's got all of it there too. And it's this box, I love the, they, for one thing, when you order anything from Color It, they're always gonna have it wrapped in cellophane. So even if the box gets a little wet, most of the time what you order is protected. So that's cool. Not a lot of art companies do that. They'll just send the books and whatever, and if they get wet, it gets wet. So anyway, this is uh, the box. It's got the magnets, so nice, easy to open, easy display. Okay, so what's different besides the box? Um, they have more colors for the same price. So it used to be 50. It's now 60. So that's awesome. And these are vibrant colors. These will help your creations stand out. And best of all, they come at the same price, like I said, as the 50 markers that we had before. Um, they are leak proof and travel friendly, and they are specially designed to prevent leaking when shaken or even at high, tra uh, high temperatures during travels, which I've never traveled very far with my markers. So that's good to know if I ever do. So that is um, the new things. Um, some familiar features that you're going to know and recognize is that each marker has the, um, the medium chisel nib on the one side, and then it has the fine point nib on the other one. So the, the medium is for full, you know, full covering, like if you have a big space like the sky, and then the fine point is for the more intricate work. So that's always good. They're alcohol based. So it blends really well and it dries pretty quick. Um, they have little grips on the end of them. And also the way that the marker is shaped, it's kind of a triangle shape, which is the way it was before. So it makes it for um, a nice easy grip. So your hands stay comfortable when you color for hours at a time. Um, got the ridged caps and each marker is marked with the color code at both ends making it easier for you to choose um, my, I would just keep them right where they go according to here and you'll always have the the right color to do it with so um, like I said before the special treat for everyone today and tomorrow is 25% off regular price you don't need a discount code automatically going to be updated when you put it in your cart and you go to check out um, it only applies once per order and it cannot be combined with any other offers or promos so um, the link that you're going to need is um, w 
www.colorit.com slash pages slash colorit. Well, one of the girls will put it on color on the, in the chat for me. So all you got to do is um, click on that and it'll send you straight to where you can purchase these. Um, I've been playing around with these and I, you know, I was kind of like, yeah, first I was like, what's, what's new, you know, besides the things that they said, but I do notice that, um, the nips seem to be stronger. Uh, the tips of the, the marker, uh, seem to be stronger. So they're going to hold their point longer because sometimes when you've been coloring for a while, you'll start to notice it start to bend. Well, these seem to be stronger than than usual and then I don't know if it's just me and I haven't used markers for a while but the colors seem a lot more richer than they were before um, it also depends on the, the type of paper that you're using so um, you know I know that there are a lot of markers out there for you guys to choose from and you know sometimes they can be cheaper sometimes they have a whole lot more colors but when it comes down to quality for the price color it really is the way to go and it's not I don't get paid to say it. Um, I bought their markers before uh, and I'm going to continue to buy them because they're consistently good. Um, now as far as being able to order them in singles, they are still working on that. We're trying to figure out a good way. Um, they are. I don't have anything to do with it. Try to figure out a good way to um, be able to sell them when you need to refill. So they'll probably like do sets like maybe reds or pinks or or they, they might pick the most popular of the colors, um, the ones that we go through more often. They might actually do sets of that. But that is in the future right now. It's just get your first set, right? And start coloring. And you get 25% off. So that's just perfect. And we've been waiting for so long. And we finally got it. So um, we are going to be coloring with the markers tonight. So um, we will get to see them in action. So why don't we look at some submissions first before we color. So I'm going to transition back to that screen. Has anyone have any questions so far? Anybody sign in that I didn't get to say hello to? Uh, yeah, there's been quite a few actually. Uh, go back down here a little ways and see. So first up, we have our Freebie Friday submissions. Remember that if you want your Freebie Friday delivered to you on a uh, weekly basis, you got to go to colorit.com and sign up for the newsletter. And when you do, you'll automatically get signed up for the Freebie Friday as well. Anybody? Yes. Uh, Sandy Waskow from, I don't know, Wisconsin, somewhere in Wisconsin. I'm not sure how you say that. Deborah from Kentucky, hello. Hi, Suzanne. Nancy Thompson. She's from Missouri, so she's a local. She's one of us. Judy Mann from Illinois. Let's see, Audrey yep. Bonnell from Toledo. Yeah, she's been here. Toledo. She's one of our regulars. Kathy, Nancy. Hi, Rita St. Louis, hello. You're, you're close. Nancy Klein from Florida. Everybody's sharing. Hi, Nikki. Janet. Sandy Mary. All right. I'm so glad to see you guys. Miracle is here tonight. Hi, Tammy. All right. Okay. So our first um, Freebie Friday coming up is Kathy Bartarsik, and she is here tonight. I saw her in chat. This picture is the one that we colored last week or the week before. I can't remember. Um... Uh, it was the week before, I believe. Um, Amber started it, and I finished it. Kathy did a gorgeous job here. It is Psalm 28.7. It says, The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusts in Him, and He helps me. Beautiful job here, Kathy. I like how you um, did the, the uh, ribbon in kind of like a gold color with the green. And I like how you incorporated a little bit of gold and green in the sides there. And um, I think that looks like purple, but it might be blue, but it looks like purple to me. So um, really like the way you did your colors, like the way you did the um, shading effect. You make makes the, the ribbon look like it has darker parts where the shadows are cast. So always like that. So great job, Kathy. I'm going to try to go through these submissions um, somewhat quickly so that we can really play with our new toys, right? I want to play with our new markers. 
All right, next we have one up from Linda Daniels. Wait for it to switch over. Uh, make sure you guys are um, watching for the Black Friday sale and uh, the Cyber Monday sale. sale it's going to be coming up. So the markers are on sale right now. Um, there will be more details and announcements about the Black Friday and Cyber Monday sale in a little bit. So we're looking at Linda Daniels' picture of the shield here. Really love that blue. And I, that green, the word Lord really stands out. I like how you did that. Like how you kind of transitioned between the a few different colors. You got blue, you got red. I'm kind of like a brownish gold. So I like that. I like the variety. Um, like the softness of the ribbon. And I like how this, the uh, shield kind of looks like it's seen some, some hard times. Because haven't we all seen some hard times? So we all have a little little dings and scratches and I like that I think that it makes it look more realistic because we've all been in battles so and thankfully we've always had someone to help us so all right thank you Linda very much for your submission remember if you guys have a submission that you want on color it live or on the Facebook color it page you can post it directly on the color it Facebook page or you can send it in an email to support at color it.com Next up, we have one, we have another Linda. This is Linda with a Y. Uh, Linda Parker, and uh, she has done a beautiful job as well. Um, first thing I noticed is how she did a multicolor on the sides. I don't really know what these little branch thingies are called on the sides. Um, they're just, I guess, decorative, but I like how you made it, it's got like, gold and it's got some red and green and it's more of dark red so i really like that effect that it has it almost looks like um like a flower or a plant so it, it's just really really pretty so that was the first thing i was drawn to the second thing of course is the word lord in purple so i'm going to notice that amber would love it she'd be like purple <laughs> and i like how you did the the shield in a nice silver color and then the ribbon in like a yellow very um, bold and very uplifting colors. So thank you, Linda, for sending that in to us, for participating in the submissions. Your guys' submissions is why we're here. We like to show you guys off, show how you free your creativity each and every day. All right, everyone, yes, I like it when you guys comment. Hi, Stephanie. Laura Niles, hello. Glad you made it. All right, next up we have Robin Northrup. She was our very first colorist of the month. And she did purples and yellows. So you know I'm automatically going to love that. Vicki, glad you're back. I know you haven't been here for a while, but that's okay. I, I just, you know, I understand life happens. People get busy. Hello, Christy from Pensacola, Florida. All right, so Robin, I like how you chose the purple and the yellow in the color wheel. We know that those, those are opposite, so therefore they are complementary colors. So um, that makes the picture look good, but also your coloring skills are very good here. I like how you did the light purple and then you got the, it gets softer throughout the background. I like um, the way uh, it's kind of got, you kind of got like a bluish purple and then you got the, more of like a great purple. So just really like those use of colors. I like how on the uh, side you have mostly purple, then every but every once in a while you'll see a touch of, of gold. So I think that's really neat. Nice way to, nice little details to make it your own. So even though it's the same picture, everyone puts their own little touch on it and I love it. Hi, Jennifer Dolstrom. And I think I saw Jennifer Baker too. Rosa, hello. I said hello already. Hey, I'm sorry, Jennifer Baker. I did see you though, and I just, for some reason, I didn't. It did, I said it in my head, but I didn't say it out loud, which happens a lot. And sometimes it's opposite. I say it out loud before I say it in my head and get myself in trouble. So, all right, our next picture is from Senya uh, in, uh, in Whistle. And uh, you have a very vibrant, vibrant picture. I'm talking too fast. I need to slow down. 
I like how you did your lettering. Um, I like the, the, the greens on the side. That's really pretty. I think I see sparkle, but it could be my imagination. But I believe that you maybe probably used a glitter pen or two like that. Um, very colorful. I like how the shield has kind of got the red trim around it. And um, the different words are, are, you know, some of them are in red, some of them in purple, some of them are in gold. So really, really neat way to do that. So I was kind of trying to see. I do you. Okay, yeah. So um, I like that silver on the top. It goes into the green and then it goes back to silver. So nice touch. I really like that, Senia. Thank you for sending that in. We should be having our first winner tonight coming up soon. Random submissions. So these could be from any book, from anyone. We just never know. So, yep, I love the glitter pins too, Melissa. Hey, Jonathan. Glad you could make it. Gloria, hello. Renee, hi. Love it. Love how you guys all took a part of your day and came and seen us. Jean Duvall is here. I know, Jennifer Baker. I'm sorry. <laughs> She's like one of my closest friends, and I completely, you know, just spaced it off. I guess, like I said in my head, I said hello. All right. Okay, next we have uh, Diana Barnes, and this is from the Best of Color It. We do have our first winner, so we're going to have to get back to Diana. So let's switch over, if I can remember. you think I'd have this down by now, but I don't. I'm going to switch over to me and Jeremy again. Uh, we Remember, we are giving away Colors of the Ocean. I don't have the book. I'm sorry. Just go to colorit.com and you can see it. Lots of beautiful ocean picture. Um, the picture that we were going to color tonight was this one, which you can't see very well. But it's got a dolphin on it and a compass. And it's got like all this ocean life, flora, and stuff behind it. I... I printed it off and unfortunately I can't use markers with my printer ink because it smears it for some reason and it doesn't like color it paper. Okay, so for the first winner for tonight is Judy Mitchell. Judy Mitchell, you are our first winner on Color It Live. Congratulations. All you got to do is send an email to support at colorit.com. Let them know that you are a Color It Live winner and they will send you the book. Make sure in your email that you put your address and your phone number so they can get you the right thing. So congratulations, Judy Mitchell. I cannot wait to see your creative ocean pictures from Colors of the Ocean. So congratulations. All right, let's get back to your submissions. This is Diana Barnes again. Don't know if she's here tonight or not. I don't remember if I saw it. All right, so Diana Barnes, this is from the Best of Color It book. If you um, are on the, the fence about which book you want, the Best of Color It might be the book for you. And this is the Belongs To page. I can't remember what AJ used to call it, but Erica called it one thing and then AJ called it another. But I too call it the Belongs To page. And Diana, you did a beautiful job on this. I love that blue. It is gorgeous. That deep, deep blue is so pretty. And then you got, is nice. you got your different oranges and some purples in there and some greens. And then you got lighter blues to go with it. So I like that. And then the reef itself has got brown and then you got some like purple twisted through it. So really pretty. And then I like the way you sign your name. You have a very pretty penmanship. So I noticed things like that. So I I messed up. I mess I must, I get so nervous when I do the belongs to page because you know it's your first page in the book and I feel like it kind of sets the tone for everything. And so I hardly ever do them because I the first time I did a, a belongs to page, I messed my name up. It's like I'm writing my name and I messed it up. It's pretty sad, but Diana, you did a beautiful job. I love the way you write. Your your penmanship is beautiful. All right, next we have uh, Gloria Thompson's picture coming up. The email address is uh, support at colorit.com. Hey, Nisha, 
late is better than never making it. So we're glad you made it. Catherine re ordered her markers today. All right. I love seeing you guys talking to each other. Lynn Richardson's here tonight. I don't think I saw her earlier. So congratulations, Judy Mitchell. That's great. Okay. Now see, Jennifer always does the belong to page. I don't think that's weird. I think if I hadn't messed up my very first one, that would be the first one I would do with every book. But now it's like I put pressure on myself and you know, guys know me, I am my own worst critic. So, okay, Gloria Thompson, Mythical and Fantasy, one of my favorite books. And this is one of my favorite pictures, which I keep waiting to color because I want to do it just right. And Gloria, you have definitely inspired me with this. I love everything about this picture. Her skin tone, her hair. I like how you did, you know, her the, the fishnets through her her armor. I love that. The the red and the green goes really well together. Um, and then her gold breastplate. So just really neat. Even her sword's got the silver and then it's got the tips of gold. And then uh, I like how you shaded her um, wings. Makes the feathers kind of pop out. They're not perfectly white. There's shadow in them, so that makes them look, you know, more ruffled, more uh, dimensional. So just a awesome picture that you did. It is awesome. Now, now I kind of want to go and color mine. I think I'm ready, but I probably won't. I'll probably talk myself out of it because I, I want to do it so well because it's one of my favorites. So excellent job, Gloria, with that. I love it. She is a very impressive warrior. I would not want to have to go up against her. So awesome job, Gloria. Lots of thumbs and hearts for everyone whose submiss submissions we're looking at tonight. The next one is from Colors of Nature. And this is a very pretty picture. I love it. I'm sitting here looking at the butterfly going, it's just gorgeous. I love those two colors together. I'm going to wait for it to switch over. There it goes. This is from Jody Engler. And as I said, the first thing I noticed was your butterfly. I love the, that blue against that purple. It's gorgeous. And this huge sunflower. Look at this. The sunflower is huge. Um, and this, this butterfly is just really enjoying it. So I like how you did the browns in the middle there. And then you did the nice, beautiful golden petals. With the, and you got it shaded just enough to make it look nice and real. And they get all this in the background going on. You got a ladybug over here. You got a bumblebee up here. I think this is a part of another bumblebee. And it, I don't know, it kind of looks like you use gel pens. I'm not 100% sure, but it's got a shiny effect to it. So I think at least you use part of it was gel pens. But very beautiful, very bright, very happy picture. So very nice. Like all of those vibrant colors. So did a really good job. I like the different colors of greens and the plants as well. So excellent job, Jody. Lots of hearts and thumbs up for you as well. I'm going to take a drink while we wait for the next picture to pop up. People who meet my husband will probably find out, figure out that the reason why he's quiet is because I do all the talking. So it's not hard for me. All right, next up we have Julie Kranich, and this is from Colorful Seasons. And this is an adorable picture here of a kitten looking out of the window at these two cardinals. Now, what do you think that kitten's thinking? <laughs> do you think he wants to play, or do you think he's hungry? So, he, he looks pretty happy. So, maybe he's just, maybe I'm going to say he's a nice kitty, and he's just wanting to say hello. Um, but I love your, I like your orange and yellow cat here love that i love the way you did the birds you did a male and a female which would you know would be how you would mostly see uh two birds if they're studying together and not fighting they're usually mates so that's really neat how you did the female bird with less color because it's the male's bird to do all the work which i like that um, I like how you did your stones. I love your tree. Um, just really good job here, Julie. Just very pretty, very soft picture. I like it a lot. And this, again, is from Colorful Seasons. So lots of hearts for Julie. Lots of thumbs up. Next one we're going to be looking at is from A Colorful Christmas. 
and uh, I will wait for it to pop up. I'm gonna see what you guys are doing in chat. Dinner time says, Jennifer, what you having for dinner? Somebody's having lunch. The birds did look real. I really like that. Hey, Jamie. Hi, Deanna. I didn't see you earlier, I'm sorry. Jody. All right, I think I'm pretty much getting everybody. I'm trying. All right, so next up we have Lorraine Wolf. I like cardinals too. I think because they, I think it's because they just stand out so well. I mean, blue jays do too, but I just I don't know. Cardinals just I've always been more partial to them. So, Lorraine Wolf, a colorful Christmas, and we have a very beautiful picture of Santa here. Uh, everything about this picture is gorgeous. I love it. Um, stuck to the traditional red and green, which there's nothing wrong with that. You did a beautiful job with that. Like how you shaded his gloves. I like how, you know, it looks like the light's hitting it just so. And I like how you did the different green, you know, it's all, you know, you used plenty of green, but none of them, like, you know, bleed in together. You know, it's separate. It's a separate color of green. It's a separate piece of article of, of the bag, you know. So you were able to do that. Sometimes when I use one, you know, color, it's kind of hard to, you know, it kind of seems to blend together. Like, for instance, if I would have done his glove and this part of the bag here, it would have looked like one thing. But yours looks like a lighter color of green, so therefore you see the separateness of it. So that's not always easy to do. So good blending there. I love it. Like the texture and all of it. All the toys and ornaments. And I definitely like the snow in the background with that dark blue. Really makes that snow pop out. And then, of course, the reindeer here at the bottom. So lots of little details in here. And Lorraine, you got every single one of them. It's a beautiful picture. You should be really proud. Very beautiful. I like that a lot. Lots of hearts and thumbs up for Lorraine. All right. You guys may have noticed we have shortened the, um, the amount of submissions because we really want to show off the new markers. Um, so next up, we have... We're uh, going to look at the colorist of the month. And again, it is Mary Richmond. When I choose the colors of the month, I look at all kinds of different things. Um, and I'm gonna get back to Mary really quick. We have a second winner. So I'm gonna jump back over here to us real quick. Even though I don't have the book to show you, um, the what we're giving away tonight is the uh, Colors of the Ocean, go to colorit.com and you can look at it. It's a beautiful book. Uh, a lot of um, intricate pictures in there that you know can take some time and then they have ones that aren't so intricate. So um, a little bit of for everybody on there. So uh, the second winner for tonight is Jeannie Newton Calhoun. So Jeannie Newton Calhoun, congratulations. You are our second winner on Color It Live. All you have to do is send an email to support at colorit.com with your address and your phone number. Let them know that you won uh, Colors of the Ocean with Nyla and Jeremy on Color It Live. So congratulations. Yay. I can't wait to see your beautiful ocean pictures. So lots of water and calmness and coolness comes to mind. Dolphins and all kinds of colorful, beautiful stuff. So. Like I was saying, uh, like I was saying, uh, colorist of the month is something that I choose. Is color it going to have a new calendar? I hope so. Um, I wasn't able to color many of them, but you guys did, and I loved seeing them. Um, I do not know. Um, let's all hope so. I think it was fun. I think it was a. Um, everyone enjoyed them. So we're gonna we're gonna keep our fingers crossed and see, and hopefully they'll surprise us. All right. So colorist of the month. What I do, I look at um, the activity in chat. I see who comes every Wednesday and uh, who is active in chat. I look at who's active in group. Um, Mary is very active in the challenges that Nicole creates for us. So that was one thing I noticed. Um, I also look who participates in you know the the in the group itself and then also who you know there's some people who will they will make a comment like Suzanne Grant will make a comment on everybody's picture 
And I think that is so sweet and it makes everyone, everyone wants a little bit of acknowledgement. Um, we work, we put our hearts in these pictures and we, you know, it's nice when people acknowledge that and if they see things that, you know, like if we do a little thing and they notice it, it just, it gives us um, a, a lot of happiness. It makes us feel good for people to acknowledge it. So Mary Richmond, that is why I chose um, her because she is very active in group. She's usually here on every Wednesday night, which is even better. So um, this is, I, I choose two pictures and then the winner chooses two pictures and this is one of the pictures that Mary chose. And she chose this one because as of November 20th, it'll be five years since she was diagnosed with breast cancer. So she is definitely a survivor, which is what this picture says. Survivor, one with great courage and strength. And that is exactly who Mary is. She has survived a lot of stuff, a lot of health conditions and things over the years. And she has not let it dampen her spirit at all. She is a bright star in a dark sky. So she is definitely a warrior. She is definitely a survivor. And uh, she uh, spreads her joy when she can. And I truly appreciate that. So thank you, Mary, for uh, letting us know the story behind your picture. It always makes things a little bit more interesting. So, all right. We have <clears throat> some announcements uh, to make, and I'm going to let Jeremy do that in a little bit. So the, the announcements we're going to talk about is the Mary must have the 12 daily flash deals. So he is going to talk about that in a little bit. But we are going to get to coloring. I think this is my last. Yes. <coughs> Sorry. Okay. So that was my last slide for tonight. We are going to start to color. I first wanted to show you guys. Um, I'm going to give that to you. Uh, the colors, you know, on the box are a pretty good rep representation of the markers themselves. I, you know, but as always, I don't know. I'm kind of OCD about it. When I'm about to lay down a color, I want to know exactly what it's going to look like. And these, uh, these colors that are on the box are a little different than what they are when you color with them. Now, sometimes that's because of the paper. Um, the color it books are designed for different types of media like markers. You can even use the water brush pens on them. So they're, and the, the paper that I use is more designed for pencils. So they really soak up all that color. So I went ahead and I made my, what I call my cheat sheet which is basically all the markers um, and their names so that I can see that when I use them on my paper, what kind of, what color they are. Um, but like I said, when you use color it books, the color is a little different than what it would be on other paper. So it really, it kind of makes a difference, but either way, they're very vibrant, vibrant, as you can see, very bold colors but some of the colors are a little different than what you would expect them to be. So that's why it's always good to have one of these uh, cheat sheets. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start coloring. I've been working on a flower. Um, since I didn't have Colors of the Ocean, I chose, um, what book did I choose? I think it's Doodles, I think it's the Doodle book. Yes, Calming Doodles is the book I chose because it's been a while since I've colored. So I kind of wanted an easy book. And especially since I'm using markers for the first time in a while, because my markers were all pretty much dried out. <coughs> I chose a, a book that had a simple design. And so that is what we're going to start off with. Um, the colors that I've used so far is, um, I believe, which I should have wrote them down. I believe it's scarlet red and cherry. And then I view, I used um, fancy yellow and lemon yellow. And then this blue here, I believe was, um, I think it was peacock blue. So, but anyway, 
as you can see, there's not a whole lot that has changed about the look of the markers. Um, they're the same. I do think that the ridges are a little bit more uh, bumpier. You can actually hear the grip on the pencil, the, the, the marker. So, but as always, it's got the, the two different size nibs on it. One's a chisel, which, you know, I don't, I used to, when I first started using markers, I never used the chisel, but I promise if you practice with it, you'll become good at it and you'll use it more than what you think. So, but I am going to start coloring. I think for my next color, I'm going to use like an orange. So I'm going to use um, tangerine, which is 11. And then I'm going to go to marmalade, which that's a new color. I don't think we had marmalade last time. So that's like a new name. So, all right. And um, as I color, Jeremy is going to do the uh, joke from Mary Kate Moore. All right. What did the turkey say to the computer? Okay. So very apt a joke since everyone's about to be eating some turkey tomorrow on turkey day. I don't know, not everybody has turkey. Some people have ham. So, what did the turkey say to the computer? Let's see if anybody can, just go ahead and read any guesses that people throw out there. We'll see if anybody gets close to it. Again, I'm using, um, this is tangerine. And there's one more thing that I noticed about this. The smell of the alcohol isn't so strong as the other markers, which I, you know, kind of like the smell because I'm weird like that. But um, it doesn't seem to be as strong. So anybody who is sensitive to smells and can get headaches from them, I think this, this will help because they're not as strong as what they used to be. But that could just be my imagination. You guys will have to let me know when you guys get yours. But remember, it is 20%, 25% off tonight and tomorrow for the markers. Eddie McKenzie comes in with an answer. He says, Google, Google. Eddie McKenzie is right. She he is correct. She is correct. Eddie McKenzie is correct. What did the turkey say to the computer? Google, Google, Google. Google, Google, Google. Instead of gobble, 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 it's Google, Google, Google. So, thank you, Mary Kate. She always gives me a joke that makes me chuckle, smile. Sometimes I'm, I'm close to getting the answer. Sometimes I have no idea. Yeah. I, I had no idea on this one at all adam hale says hey google how do i get a presidential pardon <laughs> <laughs> he's a funny one that's pretty funny all right so what what do you guys do for um thanksgiving um do you guys keep it simple or do you guys you know fix a little bit of everything do you do ham instead of turkey do you do duck i you know i'm kind of curious to see what everyone does you get together with your immediate family are you going to see your in-laws or do you just skip the family thing and and go on vacation somewhere or you know do you stay home and watch football and you know eat something else like a turkey sandwich i don't know i want to i want to know what everyone does for their for thanksgiving So, I think you guys, my picture's kind of moving around. Uh -oh. You guys can see. They um, are pretty much the same markers, but like I said, I, the, the, the uh, tips seem a little bit harder than they used to be, um, which I like. I, I like it to stay at a nice, good point. So, um, oh, and they do have a colorless blender, which is new, I think. I'm pretty sure it's new. Colorless blender. We didn't have that before, did we? Um, which I'm not quite sure. I use a colorless blender with my pencils, but I'm not quite sure. Um, I'm going to have to practice with that and see how it works. So, 
as you can see on the in the color book it it's taking the color very well now on regular paper i think this orange and the reds would be a lot more more deeper rich richer colors so what's everybody saying about their thanksgivings well there's all kinds of different answers there's people are going to have turkey some uh, kathy davenport says she's vacationing on saturday uh, Adam Hale says eat turkey and ham. Huh, they have both. Yeah, that, I, I love ham myself. Uh, oh, and watch the Macy's Parade. I always hey, forget about that. Are they not having balloons? And did I hear that correctly? They're not having balloons at the Macy's Parade? I heard that because of the, the, the wind. The wind is going to be too strong? Yeah. I'm like, that's what I watched. I mean, when I was a kid, I mean, it was for the balloons. I mean, the, you know, the floats and everything are cool, but I wanted to see Snoopy, you know? Snoopy was coming down the street. Yeah, the big balloons was always the, the best part of the parade, in my opinion. All right, so what else is, what else is everybody else doing? Oh, let's see. It says, uh, well, Gladys Speed says, uh, Happy Thanksgiving. We're, we have our Thanksgiving in October in Canada. Oh, yeah. I was, I, we, me and my son Jeremiah were talking about Canada earlier, and I was kind of wondering what you guys, if you guys had anything like that. You know, I know we have some color fans in Australia. Um, so, you know, we have color fans all over, so not everyone is celebrating Thanksgiving this weekend. Jody Engler says, we do wild goose wild if we're goose. lucky. Yeah. If we're lucky to get one out hunting. Otherwise, turkey, but simple size. Okay, my next question, which we have a winner, which I'll get to in just a second. You guys, I want you to think about what, um, how do you prepare your turkey? I know some people smoke their turkeys. Some people fry their turkeys. Some people put them in the oven. Um, how do you prepare your turkey? Do you um, prepare the stuffing inside the turkey or do you prepare it outside? Um, let me know how you prepare your turkeys. And I'm going to switch screens here for a little bit. Sorry, I'm coloring outside of the frame, guys. I'm sorry. Amber, it's been a while since I've colored. And I just lost my pink cap. Don't move. Don't move. Okay. Um, so I'm going to transition back to me really quick. I don't know why because I don't have the book. But anyway, our third winner for tonight. I'm going to wait for it to transfer. I don't know where my cap went. I lost my cap. But we'll get it. We'll find it. It's not a big deal. I see it. Just hopefully the dogs don't get a hold of it. All right, so our third winner for tonight, you um, have just won Colorful Oceans, which if uh, you want to look at it, you can go to colorit.com, and they have uh, pictures of all of their um, their books and markers and everything. So our third winner for tonight is um, Tammy Soulful Johnson. So Tammy Johnson, you are our third winner on Color It Live. All you have to do is send an email to support at colorit.com. Let them know that you are a winner from Color It Live. Make sure you include your address and your phone number so they can get you sent the right book. So congratulations, Tammy, for being our third winner. Let's get back to coloring. And I will do better at keeping it in the middle. So you can see, um, you can you can build colors a little bit with markers. Go over them a few times and they can blend. I'm gonna get that blender pen, pen marker out right now. And I'm gonna see what kind of difference it makes. It might not make a big difference on these two oranges because um, they're pretty similar. But I'm gonna just see what it does. Going back to the, uh, the parade and real quick, uh, Jennifer Dahlstrom says they haven't decided about the balloons yet. So they probably have it. They probably haven't prepared just in case. But I think this is the first year. That, has there been years in the previous times where they've not had the balloons? I do not know myself. I don't get to watch it every year, so. So yeah, the I think you know the the blender pencil. I think if it was more of a, I think that the, the colors were more different, but as you can see, it kind of, it does blend it out a little bit more. 
So I'll have to practice more with that. But make sure when you switch colors, you use it on a, another piece of paper to make sure you um, get the previous color off of it. So it'll be interesting to see what I can do with that. But I'm going to need practice. Okay, so how do people prepare their turkeys? Has anyone... Well, I'm kind of, this is a shocker. Uh, Lisa Carol Popovich, she says, I do turkey for the family Christmas. 22 pound bird in a turkey roaster. 22 pounds, that's a lot of turkey. That's a lot of turkey. Spread a little butter on it. 450 degrees for three hours and 15 minutes. Perfection. Perfection. Nice and crispy on the outside. Sounds awesome. Juicy on the inside. I'm getting hungry. <laughs> All right. Does anybody do, um, a friend of mine in Iowa, uh, they smoke their turkey. I've never had, I don't think I've ever had smoked turkey. I mean, I've had like, you know, smoked turkey from the deli or whatever, but actual, you know, the actual turkey. I've had wild turkey before. That is, um, you know, a different kind of a distinct taste to it. I'd just like to uh, say hello to Greg Kingsley. Hey, Greg. We've got another he's, color stud in the house. He says his power just came back on from the high winds, so he's missed most, most of the show. Oh, well, I'm glad you made it, and I'm glad you're safe. Those winds are giving everybody trouble tonight, and oh, what's with that? All right. So I am, I have, I, you know, didn't realize how much I missed markers. But they're, they, they really, I mean, they're just so quick. You can finish a picture so quick with them. I like that. All right, so what color do you think I should do? Like maybe a darker orange, maybe? Or maybe a red and orange? Maybe that'll be good. Did you find my cap? Oh, yes, I did. I couldn't reach it. Just give me a second. There we go. All right, I'm going to get another, let's got see. Because you got to remember to put your caps on your markers. I also would suggest that you store them laying down, not up or down. I suggest that you store them laying down. So other people might tell you to store them the other way, but um, I suggest that you, you do them laying down. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to do some red and then I'm going to take an orange and then I'm going to use that blender and see what I can make with it. So, all right, we're going to use scarlet red. I'm just going to come here on the tips of these flowers with that scarlet red. We'll see how they turn out. But it's been a while since I've used markers. I there for a while. I use markers all the time, but then they started I I they were kind of precious like gold because, you know, they didn't have them anymore, so I wanted to save them. But now I remember why. I used them so much. They're so much quicker and easier on the hands. So I'm going to just put some tips on this flower here and then we'll use a different color of orange and see what we can create with the blender. I'm kind of curious to see what, what it'll do. Has anyone else ever used a colorless blender for your markers? I know other marker brands have a colorless blender, but I've never used them before. Man, I'm like really craving turkey now. I can't <laughs> wait. Can't wait for some turkey. Oh, something fell down somewhere. Somebody says they've had barbecued turkey and they didn't care for it. Didn't care for barbecued turkey. I'm assuming that's what that means. Okay, tangerine. I'm going to put that one back. I'm going to use... What am I going to use? I'm going to use... What is this color? Okay, it's called um, cadmium orange. Cadmium orange is number 12. So I'm just going to take that and put it on the tips of my red that I used. Miracle Dunkelberger is not uh, helping me with my diet at all. She says they have key lime, pumpkin, and mincemeat pies. Ooh, oh yeah, I didn't even think about asking what pie. I mean, it's like a tradition to have pie with your with your turkey, right? What's everybody's favorite pies? I don't know. All of that sounded good. I probably would choose banana cream pie for my favorite. But 
I do like me some key lime too. I also like blackberry. And then I'm also very traditional. I do like my pumpkin. Pumpkin's the, uh, so to me, it's the traditional Thanksgiving right. it's pie. Just, it's just not quite Thanksgiving without pumpkin. You gotta have the whipped cream too. Gotta have that whipped cream on it. I know my dad always liked chocolate pie or coconut cream pie. We always had... Um, Jennifer Baker says they're having prime rib roast. There's always somebody to get friend. That sounds really good. That sounds really good. I am, I am definitely a meat eater. I do like my meats. So... Alright, so I'm using this um, color of orange. Just going right up against my my red that I use and then I'm going to use one more color and then I'm going to take the blender over it. I think I might have used, I didn't use enough, I think the red is too close to the orange. So I might go over that a little bit more later. I don't know. All right, I might have to make a late night ca corner cafe run. These people with their pie suggestions. Yeah, we have a place here in um, Kansas City. Uh, well, Kansas City, Liberty. Uh, I don't know where the other one is. It's called Corner Cafe. They basically do like hometown cooking, like home home cooking. And they have the best pies. Oh, and cinnamon rolls. Oh, my goodness. Their cinnamon, cinnamon rolls, rolls are, are as big as my face. Awesome. Which my face is pretty big. So it's a big cinnamon roll. And they have... Um, the sticky buns, I can't remember what they're called. Okay, so I'm gonna take this colorless blender real quick and I'm gonna see what kind of difference it makes here. I might have used uh, two colors that are too similar. I think I'm gonna have to use like m colors that are a little bit more separate. This is, I think, too, too the same. They're just too similar. Vivian Robinson is asking, do those dry quickly? Do they dry? Does Yes. As soon as you're practically done, they do dry. Um, make sure that you do put a blotter behind your pictures because um, when you lay that much color down, they will go through. Um, so make sure you always have your blotter page, which color it provides. So, yeah, I'm, I think in the blender is going to have to be... Um, I'm going to have to use a little bit more different. I'm going to have to play with that because I haven't ever really used it before. So I'm going back to, I believe this is, uh, this is marmalade. So I'm going back to that. But if there's a color that you guys would like to see, I will try to, we're pretty much almost out of time. Um, I'm going to go ahead and have Jeremy read the announcements real quick. And I'm just going to keep coloring here. Sure. Uh, stay tuned for Freebie Friday posts on Facebook. Download your copy of the page and we'll color it together next week. Okay, so Freebie Fridays, you guys. If you have not signed up for the newsletter, all you got to do is go to colorit.com, sign up for the newsletter, and you will get the Freebie Fridays. And that's what we color. Usually, usually we'll color that. But because I didn't have a, the actual book, um... I wanted to show you guys how these markers work so well on the Color It books. Okay, what is the next announcement? Color It's Black Friday sale will happen from November 29th to the 30th. Stay tuned for the email and social media announcement so you don't miss out on the discount code to use. Okay, so for the Black Friday and Cyber Monday, every, um, it's going to be 25% off site-wide. Um... So, but make sure you are watching um, your email, watching the Facebook, Color It Facebook page so that um, you can be up to date on the different specials that are coming up. All right. All right. What's next? This weekend also marks the beginning of our 12 days of Christmas sale. 12 days of Christmas. From December 1st through the 12th, we'll be dropping the price on some of your favorite Color It products. For 24 hours. That's 12 days of crazy discounts that you don't want to miss. Make sure to check back on Color It's Facebook page to see what deals we're offering on each day. So what they do basically is, you know, one day they'll have uh, the gel pens on sale. Uh, another day they'll have the water brush 
or watercolor brush pen sets on sale. So you have to check in every day um, for something different. But the um, Black Friday and the Cyber Monday is 25% site wide. So that is pretty good deal. So after you guys have finished these beautiful meals that you're about to cook tomorrow, then you can go Black Friday and Cyber Monday shopping after. Because what makes you feel better when you've overeaten than spending some money, right? <laughs> So I'm like not coloring very good. I'm normally a lot more patient with my coloring, but I'm kind of hurrying through this. But you guys can see they're they're pretty much the same colors, the same the markers, but with a little bits of improvement. So they're still kind of squeaky. <laughs> Always tell when you're using markers because the squeak. But yeah, it dries. See, I just finished that and it dried. This right here is from me touching the actual nip. So that that's, but yeah, it, it dries pretty much immediately. And that's on a, a color it paper. Some other papers, it might take a little bit more, but most of the time papers will just soak these colors right up. So there is my flower for tonight. Very nice. So I'm gonna show you guys again. Look at these colors. Look how vibrant they are. This is on the paper that I use normally for pencils. But um, some of the, the, the names have changed. I did notice um, they have a, like pale pink right here and this uh, pomelo pink and this tutu pink. I think those are going to be perfect for light skin tones right there. And then also I'm probably going to use like butterscotch for one of my skin tones. The camera is not doing the color justice. I, it's, it, it doesn't look the same. But I'm definitely going to use um, the butterscotch for skin tone and this honey color. I love it. I like that color. So I'm going to definitely use that for a skin tone color. And um, they have sand, which will be good for skin tones. And probably even a little bit of roasted almond maybe. And burnt sienna. So they have nightshade, ultraviolet. I would have liked to see more purples, but that's okay. Um, I, you know, as long as there's plenty of greens, which you can see, they have a lot. These are all greens right here. We got olive, army, pale olive, hunter green, forest green, night green, Nile green. Sorry, Nile green, sage. We got blue green, cool shadow. It's kind of a bluish color. So. I'm um, going to be doing a lot of coloring the next few days. I don't know about you guys, but I am excited about these markers. Um, it's been a long time since I've used markers, so I'm really glad that they have finally came out. And I really do like this new box. Um, I really, They really put a lot of thought into this box. Um, and there's a way that you can fold it even to have it displayed. So anyway, we are officially out of time so let's come back to us here <clears throat> anyway remember it's um for tonight gotta get my sheet because i can't remember things um okay 25 percent off for the markers today and tomorrow so the 27th and 28th so if you haven't got them get them tonight get them tomorrow um but as you can see, the box, it's really sturdy, good solid box, and I really like it. It's got that magnet, and then you can fold it a certain way, and it'll stand on your table, so that's really cool. So, but anyway, I really, really like how they did that. You can definitely, I know that this is something that I had mentioned in the past when they asked for what, how they could improve. Um, we were always asking for the colors on the box, so I always just cut them out from the other ones, but anyway, I'm really happy with them. I think it's going to be fun to color with. I've missed my markers, and it's 60 when it used to be 50 for the same price as 50, so you can't beat that, and 25% off, that is so cool. So, um, thank you for everyone who... Um, was watching tonight. I know you guys are so busy 
and that you came and you you were here Jonathan's phone died but he's back all right uh, fourth winner thank you Eddie I completely was gonna forget the fourth winner okay that would I mm, I am so sorry last winner for tonight is Donna Burfield so Donna Burfield I'm sorry hopefully you didn't sign off already but Donna Burfield you are our last winner for tonight send an email to support at color .com with your address and your phone number you have just won the book colors of ocean of the ocean so um, if you need to look and see what that looks like, just go to colorit.com. All of their coloring books are on there. Um, if you uh, are in the Facebook group, Color It Coloring Books, um, if you're not, join it because that would be a great place to see the different books and all the different pages and how people have colored them. So I'm going to do a few good nights. Um, so good night, Suzanne. Good night, Jonathan, Audrey. Angel left and is back. Um, Karen, everyone's wishing everyone a happy Thanksgiving. Enjoy your turkey. Enjoy your family, and remember to be thankful for everything you have. Um, not just on not just on Thanksgiving, but be thankful every day. Um, I am thankful for my family. I'm thankful for my color it family and my color it friends. Um, you guys are always checking up on me. You guys are always chatting with me hey amber looking good thank you yeah it's a new top i like it <laughs> so anyway hey alora didn't see you there earlier i use uh you know it just really depends i hadn't used the markers for quite a while because like i said i was i was being stingy with them i was afraid to use them all up so all right good night brenda hey joyce the odor is, I, I believe, to me, the odor is not as strong as they were before. So you guys, my nose, he calls me robo nose because I can smell anything. When I was pregnant, oh my goodness, it was horrible. Um, I can't go into stores that have candles. You know, like I can't go into Bed Bath & Beyond very long because I automatically will get a headache and it's horrible. I can't take my son swimming on the inside because the chlorine smell just kills me. So, all right. Good night, Kristen. Good night, Ellen. Jennifer Dahlstrom. Jennifer Baker. Good night. Good night, Ellen. Yes, Kristen. The color books are very well printed. Um, the lines, they um, some lines are bolder than others, but pretty much all the books have nice, good, bold lines so that you're able to see where to, to put it. They are... Uh, 25% off um, as every you know color it's putting on there they're better with details than I am <coughs> so and they will put the um, four winners for tonight everyone likes my flower thank you I'll be kind of curious to see how it turns out I, I promise I will finish this one I'm not very good at finishing things lately we just sold our house so I got a pack <coughs> for the next packing but the next two days, I, I'm not going to do any packing. I'm just going to color and be with family. <coughs> I'm sorry. Hello, Dory. I think that's a, that's a new one I haven't seen before. All right. Robin, thank you. Turkey, ham, mashed potatoes, turnips, sweet potato casserole, fresh green beans. Oh, my goodness. Sounds good. Oh, I'm sorry, Miracle. I didn't do purple, but I guarantee you it'll make its way in there. <clears throat> sky blue I don't know if there is a sky blue there's a light blue there's a blue cloud so I will try to get some blue in there as well for Jean Duvall Roberta is allergic to pumpkin I'm sorry mm, that would be bad there's not I'm allergic to gluten which isn't everything but I'm not like allergic so much that if I eat a little bit I you know go crazy it's just if I eat lots of things with gluten then I get my rosacea flares up pumpkin pie and chocolate and pe pecan pies at Catherine's house let's go there I'm saying I don't do pie I mean I don't bake so you know it's store-bought cheesecake oh my goodness lemon cheesecake that sounds so good right now <laughs> I really should eat before this 
cherry cheesecake, pecan pie, apple pie, pineapple dessert at Stephanie's house. Hi, Debbie Hickson. Thank you, Diana. All right, pizza tomorrow at Nikki's house. What kind of pizza? Is it going to have pineapple on it? I like pineapple pizza. I'm weird. All right, you guys. I'm so glad you were able to join me. I hope you all have a great holiday weekend. Um, and uh, enjoy your family or not. It's whatever, you know. <laughs> I, I have those kind of family too, you know. Yep. Yeah, but anyway, <laughs> um, no, I love his family. Um, but anyway, uh, congratulations to the four winners for of Colors of the Ocean. So excited about the new markers. I can't wait to see you guys um, what you think about them. I will do my best after the show to get on and answer any questions or um, anything that I've missed throughout the show. Thank you for tuning in. As always, I am here for you guys and your submissions. The way you guys free your creativity it just blows my mind. I see the same pictures a lot, but you guys always find a way to put your own touch with it. And that's what Color It helps us do with all of their different products. So um, have a great weekend. Have a wonderful evening. And remember that every day is a chance to free your creativity with Color It. So thanks for tuning in. We will see you guys next week. Happy Thanksgiving. Have a great one, guys. Bye. Bye.